Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week, I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different. So this is a non-sponsored, again, a non-sponsored uh, video. It's gonna be my honest review based off of HelloFresh. So I see a lot of ads pop up regarding like HelloFresh, how quick, easy, delicious the meals are. So I might as well just give it a try and see how it is and give you guys the best review I can. So um, for this week, I got about four different um, HelloFresh meals. Um, they say that they're all about 30 minutes to make. Um, most of them, all of them are actually all like a vegetarian options. So I am going to test it out and see how they are and let you guys know how they are. So stay right. tuned to see how these meals turned out. I really hope it turns out good and it's worth my time. <laughs> um, so I have about four different dinner options here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to make as of yet. It's more of going to be like I'm going to close my eyes and ask my son to pick a card. <laughs> and whichever one he picks, then that's the one that we're going to go for. But the different ones that I have is uh, toasted rice bowls. This one's about 35 minutes. It's supposed to be with sweet potatoes and sugar snap peas. Uh, then we have the brown sugar glaze salmon with garlic rice and green beans. Um, so this is supposed to be about 30 minutes. And then we got the pesto halloumi buns with basil, mayo, and potato wedges. Then we have the black bean enchiladas with seasoned rice and guacamole and salsa. So in the back of all these recipes, all in the back they have all the recipes, what we need and everything and it's supposed to come with everything in um, the bag itself. So I'll show you how the bag. So this is the bag. So it's supposed to be the brown sugar um, classic salmon, um, glazed salmon with the garlic rice and green beans. So they do come with the salmon as well. Uh, they came with about two pieces of salmon. Um, and it has like all the ingredients inside um it comes with all the recipes all of this um and it has certain seasonings um i am gonna try to stick with the actual seasoning that they have to actually find out if it's actually good or if i have to incorporate my own little seasoning you know i love to add in my little old bay and my little extra seasonings and everything so we're gonna see we're gonna stick by the ingredients as much as i can which i don't really like doing but i'm gonna try and stick with it and see how it goes this okay so we will be having what is this so you grab this one toasted wait toasted rice bowls so this is with watch out as a car this is with sweet potatoes and I sugar I snap. Had that one. You already picked it. We're just grabbing the first one. So I got the bag of the toasted rice bowls. So I got the crispy shallots. What is this? Vegetable broth concentrate. Vegetable broth concentrate. Soy sauce, garlic puree, green onions, garlic salt, adame, two sweet potatoes, sesame seeds, basmati rice. With sugar snap peas, rice vinegar, piece of garlic, and sesame oil. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna do the rice first.
Okay, so we're gonna add this in. And snap these like it says. And it says to cook until it's tender crisp. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, my food is all done. Let's give it a try to see. Like I said, I never added my original spices. The only extra I added was a little bit more teriyaki because it looked too light for me. So let's try it out. It's not too bad. It's good. I think it's just very like plain like it's just very very plain I like my spices so I feel like if I add a little bit of extra oomph to it it will taste really nice but overall it's good it's not bad at all this is something that I would probably do again that's for sure but like I said, I add my own a little bit more spices to it. I'll probably add my Obey or my Tonys. Um, yeah, maybe even add a little Scotch bonnet, give it a little heat. Or even not Scotch bonnet, even if I add like a little bit of cayenne. But just to give it a little heat, you know? But overall, it's not bad. You can go on still. Alrighty, so in today, in this bag... Well, I need to get the halloumi cheese from the fridge, but it has halloumi cheese, artesian buns, russet potato, rosemary, spring mix, Roma tomatoes, basil pesto, and mayo. So. I love mayo. <laughs> let's get into this recipe.
tried this cheese before. It's actually pretty good. Kind of tastes like mozzarella. I never knew that there was grilling cheese, but it's good. Alrighty guys, so the pesto halloumi buns are all done, uh, so let's try it. So I'm going to just try the wedges first. It's good, not bad. I think I would personally add some like garlic salt, garlic seasoning, some onion seasoning onto that. To me, I feel like it's a little plain, but... I like the, how the rose, rosemary is on it. I'll for sure try that in the future again. Okay, so let's try the bun. Okay, so there's the cheese, the tomato, the spring mix, and the pesto on it. This is good. This? This is good. This is really good. I would for sure make this again. And I wouldn't add anything different to it. It's on 10 out of 10 for the sound, for the bun. Really, really good. The cheese is like perfect for it. Perfect. It's not too cheesy or anything. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> amazing. Mm -mm. Really good. Mm. That sounds good. So the pesto halloumi buns, they only take about 30 minutes to make, which is actually true. It's literally 30 minutes. It's really quick. Which I actually like about HelloFresh is I find everything is just very fast and really quick. Um, but this, this is my number one recipe right here. The halloumi buns, they're good. I need to figure out where I could even buy halloumi cheese in the first place. But everything for this bun, perfecto.
let's try it and see how it tastes. be honest this is very plain um, I would add more spices in my opinion the teriyaki sauce isn't really it's okay but I feel like it's adding something I feel like it's add a little oomph of something the rice I feel like it's supposed to be I think they said it's like a seasoned rice No, it's not. It's a garlic rice. But one thing, they never even gave me the garlic salt to put in there. So I had to put garlic powder because I don't have garlic salt. So I put garlic powder and then I added salt. But it's very plain. I personally feel like I could add more things in the rice. Um, yeah, probably add a little bit more garlic powder, um, a little bit more salt. Or even if I had garlic salt in general, I think that would be a little bit better. The fish could have a lot more seasoning. Me, I put Old Bay, especially on seafood. I would put Old Bay on some sea on the salmon. daughter here I have to give her a bath so I'm just gonna try it quickly before I head upstairs so let's try it so one thing is that I for, I thought I had to put the Moroccan blend on the full lentil however I was supposed to save a little bit and put it on uh, the pita bun which I did not do um, which I didn't do so they say the pita is supposed to dip to kind of like eat it as well not bad. So I was supposed to add feta on it, which I did. It came with the feta. It's not bad. It's pretty good. It does really give me that Moroccan vibe food, which is good. I think I would add a little bit more like black pepper to it. 
and a little bit more of the Moroccan blend that they have I feel like would be good with it as well well overall it's a little hard piece but overall it's pretty good I like it with the I like it with the pita it's not bad it's not bad at all like I said I would add a little bit more of the Moroccan blend to it but it's pretty good and I like I like the feta that's added to it because I feel like it gives it a little extra like oomph to it Okay. Oh, it's a bit good. Alrighty, guys. So, um, after my week of the HelloFresh meals, I will give it a total of eight out of ten for the whole total. Okay. I know in my video, I, as you guys could see, I do like each day that I make the HelloFresh, I do separate um ratings. So, in total of the whole HelloFresh package, I'll give it an eight out of ten. Um. I there was some that I would say that I'm not a fan of and then there's some that I for sure I will make again that hello me cheese that was so bomb that would for sure be incorporated in my weekly meals um however there was some things I found one of them I forgot exactly which one it was but one of them that never came with the garlic salt um which I think made a huge difference in the meal because I never had specifically garlic salt so I added my garlic powder and my salt um so I don't know the ratio of what garlic salt is so I feel like maybe if I had the garlic salt it would add a little bit more flavor into it but um with all these meals I would make it again however I would add my own spices to it just because I'm a girl that loves her flavors it's for sure a thing that I would do is add my own little spices that I usually add my regular on my regular day um, so and overall that's the video of the HelloFresh um, if you guys want to try it out I think you guys should give it a head um, go ahead and try it um, I personally think that the 30 minutes is a uh, 30 minutes of making the meals is accurate um, I made it really quick um, and I like that it incorporated things that I've never really made before like the snap peas I never had it the almonds I never had that in any of my meals so it was very interesting to have and I think I would incorporate those kind of items into my meals as well I'm always looking for new recipes so that's another good thing about HelloFresh it gives you a bunch of new recipes that you've never tried before and you get to keep the cards with you so you could always make it again um, purchase it at your closest store um, I'm still haven't found the artesian bun so I'm still looking for that for the hello meat buns uh, the hello me burger but I know for sure that they have it somewhere I just need to google it and I'll probably find out where um, but for sure I would say give it a try um, HelloFresh is not too bad when it comes I had a free box as in why I decided to try it um, when it comes to the pricing I have a family of my household of seven and they only make it up to I believe um, a household of four so technically it wouldn't work out uh, necessarily from my household uh, just because of how big of a family households I do have however if you are by yourself you have a household of just three or four and you guys don't like like leftovers you guys don't eat leftovers I think I would highly suggest it my household is a household of seven we like how we eat leftovers so it technically won't really work out too well for us um but like i said if you guys don't like leftovers you guys have a smaller household than i do for sure give it a try and another thing when it comes to the hello fresh you are able to kind of pick what gets sent to you um for the week and every week and then you could just cancel if you don't like what they do have recommended um, but yeah, that's my review. Um, if you guys give it a try, then let me know, um, what you guys think of the HelloFresh. Alrighty, see you guys in the next video. Bye!